Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to mark work queue items as a exception. It means how to mark exception. And this time I am going to mark system exception. In the previous video, you have seen how to mark item as a completed. So if there is no error in your project, then you can mark that a specific item as a completed. And if there is any error while pro running that project or like while processing that one, so you can mark that a specific, a specific item as a exception. So here you can see I am using get item by id to get the item from work queue. So getting the items from work queue is different. There are two, two things. One you can use get item by id and second you can use get next item to get the next item from work queue and then you can process further. This I am using here only because this is the continue part of work queue review series. You can start with the previous video. There are lots of things, lots of actions I have uh, shown in this in this series. So first you can see, let me show you here in, in this control and then this is the work queue that I have. So currently I have eight records which is pending. So instead of just writing a note, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take few actions like launching the application and login into that application. If there is any error while launching or logging into that application, then we'll mark that a specific item as a exception. That will be system exception. So let me just modify it to this one. Okay. So here we'll take two things. One, launch and login. So as per the previous video, if you'll go through my previous video, I have already shown how to set up a business object for any Windows application. So here I have this action. I'm going to use this. Double click on that. Click on business object. So I already have this Centrix data solutions business object and I'm going to use this launch. Now click OK. Now after launching, I am going to log in into that specific application. So I will take another action. So this is the first action to launch that application. And this is the second action, which is for logging into that, that application. So double click on that, select that business object and click on login. Now here in the inputs, we need to pass two things. First staff number and second password. It means username and password to login into that application. So this is the username. It means a staff number. And here this is the correct password. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this so that we can get one specific error. And as per this business object that we created in the previous video, if this, if the password is wrong, so that application will also throw an error, the pop-up message like enter, enter valid password. And also our business object, we are throwing one system exception that will say like Centrix data login not successful like that. So I'm putting here wrong password. So click OK. Let me enlarge this. Let me link this. Okay, so this part I'm going to consider this as a process records that we used earlier as a nodes, right? So it will launch and login. So if this part completed successfully, it means it will mark completed. If not successfully, then it will throw an error. So currently as per this record, as per this data, this process, this project will throw an error. So the specific item that is picked by this get item by id it means that item id will be stored here so while processing this item id let's say we are going to log in and there is an error so i need to mark that as exception if i will not mark exception will not able to move further i can show you here i'm not going to do anything but i am passing here wrong value so what will happen set next stage run this one by one so we have one of eight records and we are going to process first item ID. So this item ID has been picked here now. Let me refresh this one. So this item ID has been picked now. 
now we are going to launch and log in now so let me run this so it will launch the specific application this is the centrix data solutions application and now we are going to run this part so it will try to enter data it will enter data here and you can see we are getting error like please enter a valid staff number and password so it means this is the error from application this application itself and this error message that is coming from our business object that we set up there so while creating a business object we have also mentioned that whenever if they, that that application login not successful then we'll throw an system exception so currently it is just throwing an exception right we are not able to mark that a specific item with this system exception message right so now for this one what we need to do we need to mark this a specific item id as a exception because we are getting error here failed this click on this so we are stopping here so that's why automatically this item id will be marked as a automatically set exception as cleanup right but we need to mark item on run time it means first time we are running and let's say there is an error second time might be second time will run and that time the uh, login will be successful so it will go and mark completed right we are going to handle this error here first because without handling we will not able to mark this item as a system exception business exception or like mark completed we will not able to do, do that right because we have to handle this one we have to see which type of error is this and then we we need to mark that as exception so this is same as like try catch in the in all the programming languages you will have seen we use try catch so whatever data whatever activities or like whatever action whatever code you will put in the try section try block that will be like monitored by the specific try catch if there is any error in the try part automatically the catch section will be catch that error same here we have this block section so we have this block section so we'll take this one here like this so this is something like try try block so if if any error in this try block then it will be catched by this recover recover is like a magnet like it's like a catch so it will catch the spe specific error which is coming from this try block so any any action which is inside this block if error occurred then it will be catched by this recover stage so what we can do we can directly recover this one it means it will go to catches it means this recover part and then we'll store that exception message like what is the exception we can store also or we can directly instead of doing that we can directly go to resume part here so you can link this one so this recover part will catch that error from these two application uh, these two actions and then it will go to resume and after resume if you want to mark item as exception you can mark that so let me first put this here and now let me take one action stage here double click on that click on this walk use business object and select mark exception now in this one we need to enter that a specific item which has error so let's say this one here will pass that id this one and then what is the exception region so exception region we can pass here so we can directly either put as a like system exception or you can take directly from this business object so whatever error we are getting from this business object we can directly use here so how can we use that so before resume we need to first store that exception so how can we store that so for that we need to take one calculation here double click on that this is for and here we can go to exception take the exception details because we need to pass exception region here and then we can store here in the exception 
region right and then we can click on this button to create that now click ok so every time whenever there will be error it will be cached by this part this recover stage it will store that exception message here and then it will go to resume and then it will mark that exception here now click link and then link here now double click on that here in the exception region we need to pass that exception region here now there are two more inputs here first that is retry and keep locked so retry means do you want to retry this specific item that has error if no you can leave as it is if you want to retry so what will happen it will create a clone of that specific item and it will be retried it means attempt one attempt two like that now keep logged keep logged means your item will be logged here so let me show you here so currently as you can see here this once you'll run this one so it will this item will be logged right currently this is like showing as a pending so this item will be logged but if you are marking this item as exception so no need to log that item right because if that is uh, marked as exception we can go further and we can process another work items so just leave as it is so it will be considered as a false false now click ok so we are going to mark this item as a system exception now what will happen it will recover that exception store that resume and then mark that a specific item as exception go to loop and and then start again here again check it if there's error it will again recover and then like that so it will work like that right now let me uh, just run this so let me first close this refresh reset like that right click set next stage step over loop one by one so first item now picked by this get item by id and now it's going to launch that and then it will try to log in so you can see there's an error now click ok but what will happen if there's any error here automatically that part will be recovered here and then it will go here so you can see now it is coming to the recover part and then click a step over now it will store here that system exception so you can see this is the exception region that is centrix login not successful and this error message we are getting from here so right click on this view action in the object studio and you can see so if after entering the password login and click on login if that page not loaded so it will throw an error so the error will be like centrix login not successful right and this is the type system exception so close this now it has stored that one if it will not store that so that error message will be gone so you will not able to use here now it is going to resume now it's going to mark that a specific item as a system exception so let me show you here so currently this item is logged now once i will go through this part once i will step next here so what will happen now you can see refresh this and this item is marked as a system exception and the region is centrix login not successful so by this way you can mark that specific item as a successful now it's coming to the loop end so it will again go further here get next item launch that application but let me close this one launch that specific application again but now while logging into that, that application what i'm going to do i'm going to put here d so that is the correct or valid password so it will log in into that application without throwing any error so if login successful so it will come to mark completed and it will mark that specific item as a completed so currently this is logged and now once i will step through here so it will mark that specific item as a completed so you can see here this item is completed and this is the exception right by this way you can do that and i hope you learned how to mark item as a exception if there is any error so if this is useful please like this video and please 
subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn ui path rpa then you can visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash ui path rpa if you want to learn blue prism from udemy so i have created one course for blue prism rpa complete course on udemy so you can go there and you can purchase that course and you can get the certificate from there i will enter the the referral code and the link in the video description you can go through that i hope you like that one thank you so much for watching this video